How can you get rid of tinnitus from the very root cause up? Now, tinnitus is the perception of noise or ringing in the ears. And we commonly think that tinnitus is caused by age-related hearing loss, uh, ear injury, or circulatory system disorder. And it is said that there is no cure for tinnitus. But could it be that there might actually be another deeper cause? If so, only when we know and heal the root cause, we can heal tinnitus from the root cause together with its symptoms once and for all. And only treating the root cause is the most effective treatment for tinnitus. In this video, the scientific epigenetic deeper cause will be revealed, so you will get a clear direction in how you can get rid of tinnitus once and for all. Now, to reveal a deeper cause, we first must be willing to be radical honest with ourselves. And therefore, I want to ask you the following questions. Do you sometimes feel trapped in your own negative or dark thought world? Do you sometimes push others away from you? Were you brought up with strict prejudices and rules where you could never be free yourself? Now, do you have fear and resistance to listen to your own inner voice? Do you fixate on the darkness of the world or the sins of others as a distraction away from your own unsolved feelings? Do you see life as only pessimistic and are you preventing yourself from being happy? Do you recognize yourself in this? If so, this video is for you. Now, nature is much more intelligent than we are and gives us the exact physical translation into symptoms for what we still have not liberated ourselves from emotionally within ourselves. Welcome to this video. I am Tom Nines from the aliveacademy.com and I created this channel to reveal the true scientific epigenetic psychosomatic root cause of our physical symptoms, such as tinnitus, so that we can liberate ourselves from the root cause together with its symptoms once and for all. At the age of eight, I developed a life-threatening meningitis, which is the inflammation of the membranes that cover our brain. And only many years later, I understood the inflammation of my brain was the exact translation of what I had been suppressing emotionally, which was having been too busy with rationalizing in my brain for what I couldn't handle emotionally, until also my brain membrane couldn't handle it anymore and got inflamed in the symptom of meningitis. So basically, the physical symptom warned me for what I had been suppressing for way too long emotionally. Could it be that your body is giving you a very valuable physical symptom in the form of tinnitus of exactly what you are suppressing emotionally, which might be not allowing yourself to listen to your own inner voice and unsolved feelings, which physically translate into the perception of noise or ringing in the ears, or in other words, into Tinnitus. Now, to give you crystal clear insight into the liberating direction of feeling stuck as the psychosomatic root cause, together with its physical translation in the form of disease symptoms, I've created a fundamental animation for you. If you have seen the following fundamental animation already, or you like the insight in the deeper psychosomatic root cause, make sure to like and share this video so others get to see this same liberating direction too. Now enjoy the animation. Imagine this heart represents our untouched and unharmed fulfilled feelings at the moment we are born. Imagine this diamond represents our pure core, our authentic purpose from which each and every one of us is designed to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Imagine these glasses as our perspective from our independent fulfilled core. Then from the moment we are born until now, we all experience painful emotions. And that pain sets around our core and our unharmed and fulfilled feelings. Because we don't know how to solve that pain, we have learned to escape from it. And do you know how? By building a wall around our feelings. And do you know how we build that wall? By constantly and stressfully running away from our feelings 
into our mind or thinking, looking for constant distractions. This escape from our feelings into stressful distractions is the birth of the root cause of all of our fear or restlessness. Distractions like constantly being busy with our phones, constantly being busy with busyness, or in other words, business, constantly looking for distractions in sex or porn. This escape from our core and feelings is also the birth of our numbing imprisonment and limitations. Note that we are not only running away from our unsolved feelings, but we are also locking and numbing our pure core and unharmed feelings too underneath this stressful hunt for distractions. This imprisonment out of fear makes us cramp or block our body, and this physical and psychological blockage we also call trauma. Now that we are locked up from our inner diamond, we don't feel our core value anymore. And this disconnection from our authentic core and feelings is the root cause of all of our feelings of emptiness and unworthiness. This is the moment where we not only use distractions to run away from our unsolved feelings, but also as a means to look for a feeling of fulfillment and worthiness by running away from our feelings. The contradiction shows itself clearly. Yet we are too busy to question this numbing, imprisoning wrong direction, which has become a routine for so many of us. We search our lost feelings of value and fulfillment, for example, in distractions like status or in filling us up with drinks and food. Do you see that by running away from our feelings, we can never reach a feeling of fulfillment or value in these distractions? And that is why each distraction, apart from the short shot of distraction it gives, doesn't keep working and falls apart. Now, when our distractions doesn't work anymore, or our control falls away, unsolved pain breaks through our wall of protection, in the form of symptoms like anxiety, irritation, anger, self-pity, irregularity or jealousy. It's obvious we don't want to feel that way and that's why we start hunting for more and new numbing distractions and want to hold on to our current distractions that serve as a band-aid away from our unsolved feelings. This is the birth of the root cause of all addictions even if they are not good for us, as long as they distract us from our own unsolved issues. To make sure we will get and keep our addicting distractions, we literally use people and distractions as distractions away from ourselves. So we learn to develop behavior that is only interested in being distracted from our own feelings. This is the birth of our covert victim behavior, like criticism, bringing down others, abuse or allowing abuse, complaining, lying, denying, blaming, bribery, mind games, assumptions, reversals, forgetting, fake concern, flattery, conscious denial, relational aggression, damaging someone's relationships or social status or overt victim behavior like actual physical aggression. Both covert and overt victim behavior is intended as a big distraction to not be confronted with our own unsolved issues and responsibility anymore. This imprisoning, numbing rat race of hunting for distractions that never can bring us a feeling of fulfillment or worthiness is extremely exhausting. This direction away from our core might sooner or later lead to symptoms like exhaustion, depression, burnout, stress, tiredness, or even thoughts about suicide. 
Now my intention of showing you this perspective is to make crystal clear that there isn't anything wrong with you. That if you might have one or even all of these symptoms, that it only means that you are heading in the wrong direction, away from your own diamond and feelings. Every time we get a new distraction, like a new partner, new sex, new stuff, we get a short shot of distraction. And this short shot gives us the illusion that by proceeding in the direction away from our core, we will eventually find our complete feeling of fulfillment that we are longing for. But you now see that distractions cannot provide us with a feeling when we run away from our feelings. The more we keep blocking our core and cramping our body, the more diseases we encounter. Now, diseases are helping warning symptoms to help warn us that we are still blocking our healthy flow and are heading in the wrong direction. These ease symptoms like headache, migraine, bad sleep, back pain, shoulder pain, high blood pressure or other physical diseases are only symptoms of being blocked for too long. If we are still not aware of the fact that our symptoms are our very valuable warning signals, we might choose to suppress our helping warning signals with medication and therefore keep blocking our feelings and core even more. Although medication can be life-saving in acute conditions, if we keep blocking our core and feelings, our body is being injected with constant fight and flight chemicals like stress cortisol and adrenaline that knocks our body out of balance. And according to the science of epigenetics, this chronic imbalance and blockage might switch on our inherited disease-causing genes and actually creates diseases. If we still won't listen to our valuable disease symptoms and keep blocking our natural flow of life, our chronic blockage might turn into a flatline. My intention is that you have clarity and insight that liberation from our symptoms lie in the exact opposite direction. In solving our unsolved pain, until the only thing left to be experienced are our independent, unharmed and untouched feelings of fulfillment and core, from which we are designed to see with clarity and to flow over into natural abundance from what we authentically have to give. Then there will be no more fear or stress to feel our unsolved emotions. And this will bring clarity and peace in our mind. And from there we can create and enjoy all great things life has to offer us in total freedom. Before we continue, I wonder what does it do to you realizing that underneath our unsolved issues, we are still the untouched and unharmed clean slate. Now feel free to let me know in the comment box, I'm curious. Now knowing in our mind is one thing. Now wait until you experience it for yourself. To be able to actually experience our liberated, untouched and unharmed slate again, the key is to become radical honest with ourselves, to discover what our unsolved issues really are. Because we can only clean our dark spider webs if we know where to find them. To help you find them so you can remove them once and for all, I've created a free checklist you can fill out for your own reference. And I also have made a free tool for you that will get you past every symptom of fear to make sure that you will arrive. And I also want to show you a proof that you can cleanse yourself completely, no matter what has happened to you. And this is very valuable because if we don't have proof that it also works for us, then we wouldn't even bother. On top of that, I want you to know the truth about fear and pain that will set your mind free already. Now click here so I can send you the four free videos and checklist gifts 
so we can start tomorrow on one of the greatest journeys that we can ever make. Now, let as much people as possible enjoy your complete liberation.